The Puppy Has Fleas, a Scruff the Dog story, written by David Juiced and illustrated by Joe Diaz. Nobody wanted him, nobody loved him. The poor, poor little puppy was very, very sad. Fortunately, the little puppy made a friend who gave him little bits of food. The little friend is a rat called Hector. Hector is a very, very kind rat. He also gave the puppy a couple of fleas. The fleas made the puppy itch and scratch. At night, when it was cold, they all snuggled up together to keep warm. Scotty was out for a walk when he found an old cardboard box that seemed to be shivering and crying. Boo hoo! Sob sob! Boo hoo! Why would a box be crying? thought Scotty as he carefully looked inside. I wonder what is in it. In the bottom of the box was a nervous, mucky little puppy. Scotty picked up the box and took it home. The poor little puppy had been dumped in the box behind the rubbish bins. The puppy was cold and shivering and very, very hungry. As soon as Scotty got the puppy home, he fed him a big bowl of food, which the little puppy ate very, very quickly. Scotty called his friend Lulu to come and help. Phew, what a dirty, smelly puppy. I think we need to give him a bath, said Lulu. The puppy had a scratch. I think he has fleas. We had better wash him now, said Scotty. In he went with all the bubbles. That's better, said Scotty, as the puppy shook the water off, splashing it all over Scotty and Lulu. What should we call him, Lulu? asked Scotty. Poor Scruffy puppy. I don't know, said Lulu. That's it, Lulu. Let's call him Scruff, said Scotty excitedly. I like that name and so does he. Look at his tail wagging, said Lulu. Scruff was feeling much better after a meal and a bath, jumping around happily. Then he had another itchy scratch, those pesky fleas. Scruff explored his new home and came back with a slipper to chew. Then he tried chewing a book. You cannot do that, Scruff, that's naughty, growled Scotty. Chew on this instead, said Scotty, tossing him a bone. Scruff had another itchy scratch. I think he still has fleas, said Lulu. Scruff was happy to have the fleas. They were the little friends given to him by Hector the Rat. I will put a flea collar on Scruff. We cannot have him scratching all the time, said Scotty. He might give them to us, which will not be very nice. I think you will need to train him, Scotty. It's going to take a lot of work, said Lulu. We will start in the morning, said Scotty, as Scruff dozed in the chair. The next morning, Scotty took Scruff to the park. They ran around together, playing fetch with a ball, chased a stick. Scruff soon learnt to come when he was called, and before the end of the day, the very clever Scruff was doing all sorts of tricks. He would sit, jump, roll over, and fetch. Scruff was chased by a nasty bully of a dog. It's a good job he can run very fast. Scruff is a very, very clever dog. I think he should go to school. He will have a lovely time, said Scotty. At school, Scruff learns many things. Scruff can read and write. Scruff loves numbers and maths. Scruff has great fun with sports, especially football and tennis. Best of all, Scruff gets to play with his friends, Hector the Rat, the Fleas, and all his other classmates who come from all over the world. One day, I'm going to visit all the countries of the world. I want to see all the beautiful places, meet lots of wonderful people, and of course, try all their lovely food, Scruff told Scotty at the end of the day. Scruff and Scotty become the very best of friends and have loads of adventures together. Scruff asks, what do you like about school? What countries in the world would you like to visit? Scruff asks, have you got fleas? <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Scruff the Dog.